Hello friends, in my earlier videos, I have mentioned that I will be building a home theater PC. For this PC, I have decided to use a mini ITX PC case and Intel 6th generation processor. While exploring available options on net, I came across that Gigabyte offers mini ITX motherboards which supports 6th generation Intel processor and with inbuilt Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. The module Intel AC8260 supports dual band network connection and provides a data transfer rate of up to 867 megabits per second. I have all my media files on my network storage, hence a faster data transfer network was very much needed for my home theater PC. So I decided to go for a mini ITX motherboard with inbuilt Wi-Fi module AC8260. With inbuilt Wi-Fi module and socket 1151, Gigabyte offers three mini ITX motherboards based on Intel chipset B150, H170 and Z170. Out of this, motherboard based on B150 was not available in the market, so there was two options left, motherboards based on G170 and uh, H170. The major difference between G170 and H170 based motherboards was that G170 motherboard allows overclocking of the system. As I was not building a gaming PC, overclocking feature was not necessary for me and there was no point in paying 15% extra on G170 based motherboard. So finally I decided to go for H170 based motherboard from Gigabyte. This video is about unboxing of Gigabyte Mini ITX motherboard H170N Wi-Fi. This is the front of the box. Here it says it is Gigabyte Ultra Durable Series H170N Wi-Fi motherboard. H170 stands for Intel H170 chipset on the board. N stands for Mini ITX form which is 17cm by 17cm. It have LG1151 socket which supports both 6th generation Skylake and 7th generation Cadillac Intel processors. When I bought the motherboard, 7th generation processors and 200 series Intel chipset boards were not introduced in the market, but both are available now. It supports dual channel DDR4 RAM up to 32 GB on two memory DIMM sockets. This is the back side of the box where main features are highlighted. It says there is an onboard Intel AC8260 dual band 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth BT4.2 module. The Wi-Fi module supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bandwidth and 2T2R wireless antenna for enhanced coverage. 5 GHz bandwidth supports up to 867 megabits per second wireless data network. It has USB Type-C port which supports USB 3. Slim Type-C port supports all future devices with reversible plug connectors. It also has onboard high definition 115 decibel sound to noise ratio HD audio. Let's open the box and check the contents. Here is the motherboard securely wrapped in anti-static cover. Here is a packet of SATA cables. There are two SATA cables inside the packet. One is with right angle connector and the other one is with straight connector. This is an IO shield black in color which will suit my black PC case. 
This is 2T2R antenna with SMA connectors for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. This is quick installation guide in different languages. Here is a user manual with some disk. This is utility and driver disk for Intel 100 series chipset. This one is driver and utility disk for Intel Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. Let's keep these accessories on one side and take out the motherboard. This is 1151 CPU socket with a protective shield to protect the socket pins from any accidental damage. These are two dim sockets for DDR4. 2133 MHz RAM. It supports up to 32 GB RAM and dual channel architecture. This is a 24 pin header for main power supply to the mother main board. These header pins are for front panel switches and LEDs. These are two SATA Express connectors. Each connector can be connected to one SATA Express device, but it disables two SATA 3 ports. If SATA Express connectors are not used, there are in total six SATA 3 ports available on the motherboard. This is PCI Express expansion slot running on 16 lines for GPO or other PCIe devices. This is front panel HD audio header. This is front panel USB 2.0 header. This is front panel USB 3.0 header. This is Intel AC8260 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module on M.2 socket 1. Let's flip the motherboard. This is M.2 socket 3 connector for 2260 or 2280 SATA or PCIe SSDs. If this socket is used, it will disable SATA 0 port and any SATA device connected on SATA 0 will not be detected. These are back panel connectors. This is PS2 keyboard and mouse port. These are 4 USB 3.0 ports. These are 2 RJ45 LAN ports. These are 7.1 channel audio jacks. This is DVI display port. These are 2 SMA connectors for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna. These are two HDMI ports, so at a time three display devices can be plugged in the system. This is type C USB port with type 3.0 support. This is four pin ATX 12 volt power connector for CPU. This is four pin CPU fan header. This is 4 pin system fan header. Soon I will be uploading video of my HTPC assembly. If you like my video give a thumbs up. Subscribe my channel to watch my forthcoming videos. Share your suggestions in the comment box. Thanks for watching.